Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you guys? How are you, Luis Ernesto? I'm fine. So, so. <laughs> it's pleasant. <laughs> Today is Tuesday, right? Yes. Awesome. Let's see. What happened with your blazer? You are not wearing blazer today. Oh, uh, no. Not today. Okay. Not today. Although I'm coming from a class right now, there was some traffic. You know, but yeah. it's okay. What about you? How's your work doing? Well, say we have a lot of things to do because it's almost the end of the year. Yeah. We are thinking the next semester. I'm just keeping grounds <laughs> with the porches, with the shipments in everything like that. Wow. There is no time for get boring. Waiting some time for? Do you have a party? Are you going to have a Christmas party? Um, normally we have but last year we didn't have maybe this is gonna be the same because the the COVID restrictions. Yeah. COVID is still around. Um I just have a family member mm -hmm. right now who was diagnosed with COVID again. Yeah, that's why. Maybe a little lunch or something like that. Yeah, uh, thinking about uh, we can do with the co-workers. In, in the company? No, uh, maybe we, uh, the, with my co-workers, we went on some, I don't know, maybe a, a little restaurant, like, a, I don't know, many games or, or a kind of, only with my, my, my co-workers, in maybe two or three more guests. That's awesome, that's really good. What about you guys? Yes. How are you? Hey, Defer, Johnny, Irwin. Adam, William. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you having a Christmas party? No. At work? I don't think so. No? Okay. What do you what did you usually do for Christmas parties at work? <laughs> Do you remember any special Christmas party, you know, at work? I do. Come on, Banco Cuscatlan. Big party, I guess. Yeah, my favorite was when, when Olga Tañón came to our party. What? I heard. Really? I heard about it. How long ago? Not even remember. I don't remember. I ah, for 2000, I guess. Yeah, I heard that she was in a party, but I, I didn't know it was Banco Cuscatlan. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, that was amazing. No, the most the most that we had in a Christmas party at a call center called uh, Stream, well, now it's Concentrics, was Skin Flip. <laughs> really, he <laughs> was in the party. <laughs> And and the girls, the girls were like, wow, Kim Flip, right? That was like in 2007 or no, 2010, 2010, something like that. He was very popular. Now he's popular for something else. Okay. 
Okay, let me do the attendance before we move on. We jump into our topics. Um, Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Welcome. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Present teacher. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Good. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. Good. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. I think he was there somewhere. No? Okay. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Okay. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Thank you, Mike. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Jet. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yet. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. He's there. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. I wonder what's going on with Alexander. Anyways, I uh, hope there's nothing wrong. Okay. Hey. I was late. Oh, yeah. Jose Alberto. Thank you. There you go. Okay. So we, get, we talked about channels of distribution yesterday. Let's continue with this topic. It's very interesting. Um, today we have to move on with it. So we had this conversation yesterday, if you remember, I'm thinking about selling physical copies of our audio training program for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, really. Well, we will need to check with a consultant, consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution options. What am I doing? What am I reading? Wait, let me have Ada and Sandra. Would you mind? Uh, I think about selling physical copies of our audio training program for inter entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Really, we, we, we will need to take with a consultant. I don't have any experience with distribution option. We sell everything directly to the customer through our online store. My neither, maybe we will call us around and see, no, and see how much profit why we could get from a partnership with a retail store. Let's the apply. And it is, is a success we can sell more from our catalog as a store. Good. Okay. Repeat. Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Inter entrepreneurs. 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 Better. Entrepreneurs. Interp it sounds like terror, not tre. Entrepreneurs. 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 Better. Okay, next, consultant, consultant. It's like an O, not a U. Consultant. Consultant. Distribution. Distribution. Okay. Directly. 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 Consumer. 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 I had to write a lot of papers. Neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Mm -hmm. How much profit? Profit. 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 There you go. Retailer. 
store retailer <laughs> retailer store with a retailer store um there's something i want to point out here is not let's give a try it's let's give it a try let's give it a let's give it a try i think i read it like that yesterday i let's give it a try come on let's give it a try okay so what are the answers to this question guys how does ellie want to expand their business how does Ellie want to expand her business? Hmm? Selling physical copies or audio training programs of interpreters? For interpreters, okay. Selling physical copies of her audio training program for interpreters, okay. That's the way she wants to do it. Do, do Joe, I'm sorry, do, do Joel and Ellie have experience with indirect distribution channels? Do they have experience with indirect in distribution channels? No, they, they no. don't have hmm. Okay, I don't have any experience with distribution options. Me neither. Okay, they don't. What indirect distribution channel are they considering? Uh, a retailer, a retailer, store. Retailer. a retail store, and this is another correction: is a retail store. A retail store sounds weird if you say retailer store. Okay. Retail store. Retail store. Retail stores. Retail store. Retail stores. Okay, let's work on this together. We need to match the terms to the corresponding meaning. Retailer, consultant, distributor or this distributor, I'm sorry, distributor, distributor, wholesaler, wholesaler, manufacturer's representative. Oh, manufacturer's representative. So I'm just gonna read it and then I'm gonna split you for you to find the correct option for each um, one of the new concepts. An intermediary, an intermediary, entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. He buys in bulk and sells to resellers. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses, businesses that sell to consumers. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. A professional who provides expert advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics, such as distribution logistics. And last, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's products to wholesale and retail customers. Okay. So let's go ahead and define what is a retailer, what is a consultant, a distributor, a distributor, I'm sorry, a wholesaler and a manufacturer's representative, okay? This is very simple. That's page nine on your book. Hope you download it already. And yes, you will be able to share your screen if you want. We are 19 right now. Let's make four groups. Let's work together. Participate with your classmates, come on. And for me, number four is consultant. Number four, consultant. Yeah. 
Consulta. Professional who provides expert advice in a particular area, social distribution logistics. Okay, an agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to consumers. Is agent who supplies goods to stores. Distributor? This, Number two? Distributor. 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 Uh huh. Distributor. Okay. Distributor. Distributor. You got it. Retailer is number three. In a particular area, such as distribution logistic. Mm, I think it's number two, consultant. Mm -hmm. Consultant. Okay, and individual agency or company that sells and manufactures products to wholesale and retail customers. That's one. Manufacturer's representative. Okay. Okay, the order is uh, number three, number four, number one, number two, and number five. Mm -hmm. Everybody is agreeing with the, with the answers? Yes. Yes. Okay. Why? Um, <laughs> discuss why. Why do you think that's the right thing? Okay. Because for me, for example, we select uh, number one. Mm -hmm. uh, a retailer. A profession in a professional company that sells a manufacturer product to the source. Hmm. Retail. Number four, a consultant. Ah, uh, yes. A professional will provide. Number one is gold seller. Yeah, I think gold seller number one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number three, retailer. retailer. Yeah, number two, retailer. Number four is consultant. Consultant, yeah. yes. Yeah. In number five is manufacturing representative. representative. Okay. Ah, no repetition. Mm. Okay. 
What is number five? Five is going to have to let the sentences, but I don't know if we have another meeting. Hmm. I can do it again. But if number five is not one of our previous sentences, who can do that? Uh, that meeting. That meeting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. For me, maybe it's consultanos. I don't know. Yeah. Because it's an individual agency. Mm -hmm. An individual mm -hmm. uh, ad agency or company that sell a manufacturer mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're ready, teacher. <laughs> okay, we will discuss this on the classroom. Let's go back. Okay, we're ready. Okay, let's interact as we have done before. Choose a tool on your Zoom to draw on the screen. Go ahead. You can draw on the screen, whatever you want. Put a sticker, put a sticker to the first concept. What is a retailer? What is a retailer? Grab a stamp. Number three. Grab a stamp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't do it, don't worry, okay. So let's see, um, a retailer that you're saying, number three, okay. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. Do we all agree? Yes, teacher. That's number three, okay. I'll go with that. So that's number three. I trust you. Okay. What is a consultant? A professional who provides advice in a particular area such as distribution logistics. Mm, okay. So he knows about it. He knows the mm -hmm. deal. Yeah. He has the know-how. Yeah. He has the know-how. Okay. And that's very important in business. Okay. Distributor. What is a distributor? An agent who supplies goods to stores and other business that sell to consumers. That's number two, and I agree with you, totally. An agent who supplies goods to stores and other businesses that sell to customers. Okay, what is a wholesaler? Fernando, mm -hmm. wake up. Uh, I have different answer for for wholesaler. I, I 
we choose the number two for wool seller, but. Hmm. Yeah, that couldn't be because that's an agent who supplies goods to stores. So the wholesaler, Irwin, Irwin inferred that yesterday. Irwin gave us the answer yesterday. What is a wholesaler? <clears throat> Have you have you ever been to La Rosario in Sacamín? Panadería El Rosario? Yes. yes they, have. they have a wholesale store in front of a retail store. Yeah. Well, actually, no. They have a wholesale store in front of the main factory. No, yeah, really? Yeah, the headquarters of uh, uh, La Rosario. El Rosario, I'm sorry. The headquarters is, is there in Sacamil, and in front of it, there's a wholesale store. Well, now it is closed. The wholesale store closed due to COVID. They closed the wholesale store because I guess many vendors, many vendors were not buying products. There you have two terms, two terms that we use in a daily basis, vendors and wholesale. Okay. Wholesaler is mayoreo, guys. Mm. Okay, and vendors are the ones that you see in the street selling selling the mm. product. Okay, that's a better idea. So, what is a wholesaler? An intermediary entity in the distribution channel that buys in bulk and sells to resellers. Totally, that's number one. He buys in bulk. What is a bulk? Exactly. A bulk is a big purchase. A granel. Not a granel, but they buy packages of products. For example, the company that I work for, um, they buy some companies, for example, uh, I don't know, let's see, um, Andres, let's say, at the town hall, they want to give a Christmas gift to their employees. So they buy 100 prepaid cards with $50 each. Each prepaid card holds $50 for each employee, you know, so they just give the card to the employee and they can buy whatever they want with the prepaid card. Instead of money, they give you a plastic card and they bought 100. That's a bulk. That's a bulk of cards, a pack. Okay. That could be an option. That could be an idea. And number five, manufacturer's representative, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's product to wholesale and retail stores, retail customers. Can somebody give me an example? Uh, let's go with one example of each. Uh, who could be a wholesaler? Salvador, wholesaler. Yeah, wholesaler here in El Salvador. Say Inverton. Say Inverton? Yeah. Yeah. Comercial. Because they sell to resellers. Yes. Listen, yeah, they yes. sell to resellers. Yes. That's very interesting. Yes. Hmm. Disasa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, Disasa, they buy oil. I think they buy pasta, right? Many brands. And they sell it to supermarkets as well, right? Yes. Man, we're about, we're about to understand this better. Uh huh, Ir Irwin? Yeah, only that. That's it? Okay. Number two, a distributor. A distributor. Oh my God. What is a distributor example? La constancia. Example. La constancia. Con selecto. Selecto. Market. Let's no, think no, about Irwin's no. example. So we have a wholesaler. Who, who sells the, the products to Super Selectos and then Super Selectos distributes the products to the consumers. I agree. That will be a good example, distributor. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know what? 
What is price marked? What Maybe is price marked? Wholesaler. Wholesaler? Yes. yes, yes, they buy by bulk. They buy products Big in bulk. Box. Big, box. Big boxes. <laughs> you cannot buy one item. No. At price mark. That's a good idea. Okay. Siman, sería wholesaler. What do you say, guys? What is Siman? A wholesaler or a distributor? Distributor. No, it's, it's a no. distributor. Distributor. They're distributors of products. That's right. Or, or, look at the description of number three. A person or business that sells goods to the public in small quantities for use. They could be a retail store. Yes. Yeah. And I will go more for a retailer than a distributor. Hmm. In fact, as a matter of fact, a distributor could be more like someone on a specific brand. For example, uh, if you have a store that only sells dog food, cat food, animal food, you're a distributor. Let me give an example of that. In case you have pets, in case you have dogs, there is a website. Oh my God, where is it that I buy the things for this guy? The Alianza. What? Alianza. Uh, Avia Alian well, Alianza? No, yeah, but there's well, another. There's well, another one. Visas. I can't remember the name of this guy. Yeah. But they only sell uh, animals. Uh, you know, veterinarian food and, and medi medications and everything. Pet shop. No. No. And then it's actually very, very cheap. But, and, and they're very popular for that. Doggy? I mean, no, they are not known. No son conocidos. They are not very unknown brand. <clears throat> I'll tell you later. You know, pet. <laughs> Stop guessing. <laughs> Oh my God. Uh -huh. I don't remember. But that they're they're very amazing. And I found them. And I found them because oh here it is. Agrivet. Agrivet. If you have dogs, go to Agrivet. Google Agrivet in El Salvador. You make the purchase online and they send it to your house. For example, my vet recommended me um, uh, Purina for my dog. Mm -hmm. And my vet was selling the Purina to me for $89, 55, it was like four, 55 or 50 pounds, I can remember. It's a big bag, you know, a big bag of food. She was selling it to me for 89, $90 and I found it with them for 45, $50. Wow. What is yeah. the name? Could you repeat, please? Agrivet. Ooh. Agrivet. Yeah. You can Google that website. It's it's. Uh, they have a lot of products, and they can sell. I mean, you place the order, and they send it to you through delivery. It's like three dollars more for the delivery, but they send it next day, and it's very good. Good service. I buy once once every two months the the food for the dogs. You know. Yeah. That's a saving. Agrovet or Agri. Agrivet. Como agrícola, quizá. Uh-huh. Exactly. Like a, what? It's white with green and black. Okay. So <laughs> for example, they are distributors because they buy bulks of food, you know, and animal things, you know, and they resell it. They resell it on a different price. They, they distribute this sort of food. Okay, so a retailer, let's go with Siman. Let's go with Super Select. Those definitely, they're retail stores, retailer stores. Okay, number four, a consultant, a professional who provides expert advice in particular areas such as distribution and logistics. I think Carolina has a good example, right? <laughs> 
Caroline? Caroline? Yes, about transportate, transportato, transportation. Transportation. Come on. <gasps> Caroline. I forgot it. <laughs> oh my God, I erased it. Okay, so yeah. A uh, consultant, Caroline, Caroline works for a consultant company, right? They receive consultation on distribution channels, that's on logistics, distribution, logistics. That's very interesting. Um, and lastly, we have manufacturer's representative. Now, in this particular point, an individual agency or company that sells a manufacturer's products to wholesale or retail customers. Can you give me an example of a manufacturer's representative? No idea? Okay, what about the medical consultant? Do you think they are also manufacturers representatives? Ada? The visitadores médicos. Maybe consultants. They're like consultants, but they are the manufacturers representatives because many of them, their goal is to sell the medicine, to sell buyer, to sell, what is the other company here in El Salvador making, producing Laboratorio medication? Lopez. Laboratorio Lopez, yeah. Um, and in the end, they visit the doctor to sell medicine. That's their main goal, I think. Okay, let's get that idea. Now, let's move on. Look at this chart. And before we get into this topic, let's understand what is a direct channel, a retail channel, and a wholesale channel. You have different distribution channels for consumer products. We're just talking about consumer products. Um, I just made some not annotations here, uh, which were very interesting. I'm just gonna show you the image instead. Give me just a minute, I'm gonna fix it here. I cannot share content. So, just a minute. It's a lot better. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Open with, open with, sorry guys. There it is, it's gonna be better. Okay, so think about the distribution channel. You have various options and it's a little bit complicated, but let's try to understand this together. So a direct channel, look at the chart. From the producer, it goes directly to the consumer. Now I need your help picturing options, picturing examples on each category. Okay, so what is a direct channel from the producer to the consumer? There's a very famous factory in El Salvador. La pupuserías. <laughs> yes. La venta de panes con gallina. Oh my God, yeah. That's very <laughs> autóctono. <I don't> know. <laughs> yeah, that's very Salvadorian. Okay, what about a dog? Mm -hmm. A dog doesn't have, do they? Uh, they only have retail stores, I think, or no, distributor stores. 
They only have distributors for hush puppies is from a dog. Um, they have pardos. Are there a dog stores? There used to be a dog stores. Am I right? Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, right. There are a dog stores and pardos, hush puppies, and they sell their product directly to the consumer. Now, if you go to the factory, there is a separate store where they sell the bad inventory. <gasps> yeah, the defective inventory is sold at the factory, but most, most shoes are bought from employees, by employees. They, they sell the shoes to the employees as well. Okay, uh, another example. It took a mic. It took a mic. Mm -hmm. Mike, Mike, do they still exist? Are there still distributor stores from my mic? No. No? What about the one in Metro Centro? I remember there was a store in Metro Centro from my mic. Sorry, what? My mic is still alive, sure. It's still alive, right? Yes. What's the competitor? Who's the competitor? Toto. Toto. <laughs> Toto. What about Toto? That's an imported product, right? Believe it or not, I'm taking off my boots. I'm sorry. I'm too tired from my shit from my feet. There we go. Okay. So yeah, Toto is a clear example as well. They manufacture the product and they sell it directly to the consumers. I think that's a clear concept, right? Let's go to the second chart. Retail channel from the producer, goes to the retailer, and finally to the consumer. Hmm. Can you find an example like that? Is that is that the example that I just gave you? Maybe no, no, right? Because they own the stores. Irene? Diana, teacher. Yes, Diana. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. That's the best example. They produce the product, they sell it to the small stores, and actually Coca-Cola does the same thing, right? Yes. They have their own distribution channels. There is a clear example. That's a clear distribution channel of a retail channel. Wow. And it goes to the consumer. And finally, the wholesale channel. Look at it. They produce the product. Then it goes to a wholesale or a distributor. Distributor. And then a retailer. Finally, the consumer. So we, as consumers, we are basically buying directly from retailers. If we don't buy directly from the producer, we're buying directly from retailer stores. Like the main contact. Now, let's think about an example on the last chart, wholesale channel. La Constancia. La Constancia. They distribute their own product to stores, to retailers. Oh, but as well to wholesales, right? The same as Coca-Cola they have. But so here the wholesaler will be a figure of a deposito, right? Have you seen a deposito near your house? Yes, teacher. Yeah, right. That will be a, a, a wholesale. And then they actually sell to other stores, which could be uh, the retailers as well. So it's a chain in the end. Now, there is uh, a discussion among this little chart that you see here, because as a producer, 
you need to define what distribution channel are you going to use? What are the pros and cons of using each channel? Okay, if you use a direct channel, what is involved? What is involved as a producer? What do you think is involved? If you're you're taking the product to the consumer directly, what's going on? What's the what is it involved? Maybe cheaper than because it's direct channel. They the the they uh, the distribu distributor uh, don't have to to. The consumer receives the, the product directly from, from the producer. From the yes. producer. So we pay the, the suggested price for, mm, for the product. We pay the right price. Yes. Okay, you're looking at this as a consumer. Okay, so you're paying the right price. You trust, you trust the company better, right? Because you know they produce the product, so. They are selling you directly. You can even uh, complain with them if the product is defective, right? Makes sense. Okay. That's so all of these are pros. What are the negative effects of a direct channel? And I'm calling negative effects something that is actually called a drawback. I just took some notes, hold on. Uh -huh. I'm calling that incorrectly. Maybe that you carry with all the costs. Excellent, that's true. You carry with all the costs. You have to take care of all the costs involved. And there are some keywords that I want to share with you. I'm just gonna share it on the chat. So, when you think about distributing distributing your product, your mission as a producer is to find customers, win customers, make, okay, make your portfolio, make your portfolio of customers, um, keep them, keep them engaged with your brand and then make them grow, make them grow. How do you make your portfolio of clients grow? Well, do you remember mouth to mouth publicity? <laughs> if somebody talks good about your product, your business is going to grow with mouth to mouth publicity. That's the best kind of publicity there has ever existed. And you don't need to invest that much. So that's something positive, but is more difficult because you do the whole job as Heidi is saying, you need to find, win, make, keep and grow customers, happy customers. It's not easy, okay? No. So the benefit is for the customer, but the drawback, ding, 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 new word. What is a drawback? You see that, a drawback, okay? This involves, I love these words, additional layer of complexity. This adds an additional layer of complexity if you become your own channel of distribution. Are we lost? <laughs> it's a little complex, right? But it's fun. I mean, think as a producer, you're producing something. How do you distribute it? Okay, think about how are you going to reach the customers? Okay, if you use a retail channel, what happens if you use a retail channel? Look at the chart again. Producer, retailer, consumer. If you use a retailer channel, a retail channel, you are not going to work that hard, okay? The consumer is at risk, maybe, Maybe not, okay. Go ahead, what do you think? Maybe that way uh, the, the price increases. 
because the producer has to have earnings and also the retailer. So when it comes to the consumer, maybe the price. That's right. You split. Just you, you split the the earnings, um, Heidi. That is correct. You split the earnings of your product. You have to give a percentage. They hire the personal, and in your in the direct channel, you hire the personal, you hire the the drivers, you know, the distributors, just co like Coca Cola, right? They wear the uniform of Coca Cola. They have their own trucks of Coca Cola. Everything belongs to Coca Cola. Same happens with uh, La Constancia. Same thing. But if you go with a retail channel. You don't invest in all of these things, okay? You have someone else hiring personal, okay? Um, getting good customer reviews, making sure that customers are satisfied, okay? And if they do a good job, you play with the percentage that you're paying to the retailer. Makes a lot of sense, exactly. Now, price increase. Yes, definitely. Mm. Have you ever been in this situation, guys, when you think I better buy directly from the factory? Let me give you the same example again. Do you buy uh, bread from El Rosario to the people in the street, you know, there's people on the street selling selling bread, right? Selling this sort of um, pastry, pastry on the street. How do you say canasta in English? I don't think there's a word for canasta in English. But anyways, a basket, a basket yeah. <laughs> there's something in the basket. So, but they sell each bread at 25, 30 cents a piece. And at the factory, you can get it for 15 cents, 20 cents. In case you didn't know, these are the prices. So sometimes you go like, why do I buy from the retailer? I better go to the factory. I do that. I do that. I prefer if I have time, if, if I have time, I just go to the factory. It's near to me it's in Sacamil, so I just go there. It's cheaper. Teacher, He's fresher. Go ahead. Franchise uh, belongs to retail channel or wholesale channel. You no, know, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same. I will say it's a retail channel. I was watching this video. It's on your book. It's on your book, actually. Um, this video: key considerations for direct versus indirect indirect channel approach when to choose an indirect channel. Okay, watch these videos on, on your book, especially if you have the digital version of the book, that's awesome. You can actually click on the links and that's it. It's a very interesting video and it talks about this. And in this guy who talks on this video, on this first video, he states that it's good to have retailers, you know, let me give you an example, Heidi. Um, I talked about this before, but 7-Eleven stores, 7-Eleven is the, one of the cheapest franchises in, uh, in the United States. I think it's like 100,000, 100,000 for the franchise, but they train your personal, they train the whole family. And it's very common to see a family starting a business of a 7-Eleven, you know, with the gas station, the store, everything in the slurpees of course so <laughs> they they have this uh franchise and they sell the brand actually 7-eleven has its own brand of donuts they have a factory where they produce their own donuts and many other items many other food so yes it's part of a retail channel when it comes to service, you know, when it comes to some products as well. Now, a little bit lost here, wholesale channel, who finds, wins, makes, keeps, and grows happy customers on the wholesale channel? 
What do you think? Examples? <laughs> no, in this channels, in the uh -huh. wholesale channel, who finds, wins, makes, keeps and grows happy customers? Let's think about a little store in your, in your neighborhood where you buy churritos dianas, where you buy the Coca-Cola, where you go every day when you want something. These products, they already have their reputation, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think Lido. they, go ahead, go ahead. Lido is another example, right? Yeah, yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean, and they're part of this wholesale channel, aren't they? Yeah, they're part of that wholesale channel. Lido is part of it because you can find it in the supermarket, in the small store, in your corner, everywhere. So they don't need, they already have their, uh, how did I say? I'm sorry, their brief case of clients. They already have their, uh, portfolio. They already have their portfolio. They don't need to build more customers because they already have a whole nation, you know. <laughs> we all like Lido. We all like uh, Boquita Siana, right? Mm -hmm. So they can do that. They can do a wholesale channel and lay back. You know what is to lay back? Relax. It's amazing, right? You start a business, you sell your product, everybody loves it, okay? You are all set. Don't worry about anything else. Okay, now let's talk about the drawback. What is the drawback with a retail channel? What is the drawback with a wholesale channel? The drawback with retail channel is exactly that point. The consumer is affected by a higher price. As Heidi said, you have to pay a higher percentage to the retailer store for selling your product, for giving customer service. And that is the other drawback. The customer, the consumer cannot go directly to the producer. They have to, they have to deal with the retail store. They have to deal with the retail store. Okay, if there is a, a complaint uh, about a product or something very common in the United States. Let me give you an example. Let's say uh, Irene buys uh, churritos. Okay, a bag of churritos in Super Selectos, the big bag. She goes home, she eats with her family, watching a movie. And suddenly, oh my God, she's sick and she gets poisoned by the churritos. And she proves, she proves that that is all she ate and the product was expired. <gasps> okay, she bought it at Super Selectos. Where does Irene go to, you know, request some compensation for going to the hospital? poisoned by churritos at the supermarket back to the supermarket what do you think guys it depends who controls the inventory <laughs> at the supermarket or directly yes. the that's very interesting the producer. Right? Mm -hmm. go okay you have one minute go to your kitchen and find a churrito. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let me go get a churrito right now. <laughs> okay. On the back of the envelope, on the back of the envelope of a churrito, there is a telephone number for customer service. Some companies are responsible and they put that number there so you can call and say, hey, I was poisoned, poisoned by your churrito, you know, so the first thing they will ask you to do is give them the bulk number, the bulk number. It's near the barcode, okay? And they will go like, okay, where they, with that number, they can identify where did we sell this churrito? Oh, it was at Super Selectos, 
I don't know, in La Merliot, Super Selector La Merliot. Oh my God, call them, call Super Selector Merliot right now. Tell them to remove, remove that batch. There is a bad batch. And no, it's not a Star Wars. It's just a bad batch of product because they can get sued by more people if more people gets poisoned. Make sense? Because in the end, who distributes the product to Super Selectos? Okay. Sorry, teacher, I'm lost. What? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you understanding, guys? Do you have any questions? No. Yes. Okay, this is a very interesting topic, actually, if you think about it. But let's make a pause. Let's make a pause. Let's do the list, the attendance again. It's nine o'clock. I'll explain you in detail better. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Hello. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanez. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present teacher. Hey, good. Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. It's not here yet. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Usorto Romero. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Thank you, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Thank you. Okay. Let's move on. I have a challenge for you because, um, and I'm going to say it in Spanish. Esto, este módulo ya es de razonamiento lógico. Y quiero ser bien específico en cuanto a esto. O sea, tú tienes que decodificar la información más que. Um, ya hablar de inglés netamente estamos hablando de temas entonces tú tienes que darle la lógica el sabor a lo que estamos hablando si no entendés algo pregunta ok o basate en ejemplos busca más ejemplos de cómo es lo que estamos tratando so the challenge right now look at this image it's from the video from the video on your on your book what can you infer what do you understand of this uh, image. In process. It's a process, okay. It is a process. The cell of the cell. Of the cell. Mm -hmm. What is the topic? What is the topic we're looking at right now? Distribution channel. Okay. And today's today's topic is direct, indirect. Okay. What is, and, and the advantages, right? The advantages of direct, indirect, and wholesale distributions. So think about it. Key partners. Let's go one by one. It's just a matter of understanding what each concept will mean in this context. So where should we start? Give me a, a name of the ones you, you see on the chart. Where should we start? OK. 
Come on, guys. Caroline. Cost. Cost. Okay. Okay. Heidi was talking about cost. So when you select, and this is the whole point, you need to select your distribution channel. Think about as a producer. Think as a producer right now. You're a producer. Choose um, your distribution channel. And these are the key elements that you're going to consider. These are the key elements that you're going to consider when selecting your distribution channel for your product. Let's talk about cost. Heidi mentioned cost. Who is going to absorb the cost? Are you going to absorb the cost? It's very expensive to buy cars or trucks, hire the personnel, do the marketing, and finally distribute. You need fuel, you need you need to pay your employees for being all day distributing your product. I don't know if you heard the news of Pepsi, Pepsi, a Pepsi truck in Soyapango at 9 p.m. distributing Pepsi. Man, poor employees. 9 p.m. and distributing Pepsi is still yeah. in Soyapango. That's crazy. Okay, that's a cost. And they are not getting paid extra hours. That's a huge cost, okay? Human. human cost, okay. And involved in cost is the key resources. Key resources. What do you think are key resources? Hmm? What is it? Look at the picture, look at the picture. Raw material. Raw material, uh, no, you already have your product. Just think about the distribution channel. Okay. So the cost, okay. What is involved on the cost? We just mentioned it. The cost is material and the resource maybe is employees. Exactly. Part of your cost on a distribution channel is the workforce. Your workforce becomes part of your cost. Mm -hmm. How many employees do you want to have? Oh, the more employees, the bigger, the bigger the workforce, the bigger the cost mm -hmm. of the distribution channel. There's a cost of the distribution channel, okay? So bigger the workforce, who hires the workforce, okay? So key partners, key partners. Let's say that you are a direct distributor. You want to directly distribute your product. You do the, the direct channel. You go for the direct channel. So what partnerships can you build? Think about it. You have your trucks. What will be good for your trucks? A workshop. Uh, oh, gas workshop, gas stations. There you go. So you have key partners. You talk to Texaco and you go like, hey, I'm just going to fuel, you know, pump fuel. I'm just going to pump fuel in your gas stations. Give me a discount, a big discount, because every day 10 trucks are going to go to La Constitución to full, to full, you know, to fulfill their, their tanks. So give me a discount, key partners. Hey, um, Super Repuestos, give me a discount. I'm gonna be repairing my cars, even maintenance. Grupo Q, I'm gonna buy the, the trucks from you. Okay? Key partners. Key activities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is one of the first considerations when selecting the distribution channel. If you want to be a direct distributor, a direct channel, or if you want to choose a retail channel, what are the activities that you will perform? If you choose a direct channel, you're going to distribute the product. Are you going to take complaints from consumers? 
Or are you going to find an insurance company to take complaints for your product, to respond, to become liable? Think about liability. Um, are we? Are you following me? Are we lost? Hello, hello, one, two, one, two. <laughs> okay, es un poco complejo lo que estamos viendo, pero es este hallarle un poquito de sabor, echarle chile si quieren. Okay, a ver, actividades clave que debes de seguir cuando seleccionas un canal de distribución. ¿Cuáles serían? Les decía, si tú vas a elegir el canal directo de distribución, es decir, tú producís y lo llevas directamente el producto a los clientes, ¿quién se va a hacer responsable? Eso quiere decir liable. Okay, who will become liable? ¿Quién se va a responsabilizar por uh, las quejas o si en el caso de alguien se envenena con tu producto? ¿Vas a contratar una aseguranza? Okay, una aseguradora sería un key partner. ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya agarramos la onda? ¿Ya? Yeah. ¿Ya? Yeah. Wake up, wake up. Come on. Yeah. Ok. Let's continue. Value proposition. This is an agreement because you have to give value to your product in order to sell it to your consumers, to your customers, which is the main goal of the distribution channel. If you go for a direct distribution channel, you take care of this, you take care of this. And it's easy with a direct channel, as Heidi said, it's easy because the, cust the customers, the consumers go like, oh my God, is, is the factory, ad hoc is selling the shoes to me. So I can trust, I can trust on this. Okay, so you build customer relationship, customers love you, okay? And if you choose that channel, if you go for a retail channel, it's more difficult to build customer relationship, but it's possible, it is possible. Revenue, and there, there is the, the key difference. Revenue is involved in everything, as Heidi said. You sell directly, I mean, you distribute directly, you get better profit. If you go for a retail channel, you get less profit. And if you go for a wholesale, for a wholesale distribution channel, the profit is lower because you have to divide, you have to split you have to split the payment among the retailers, among the workers, and so many other costs. Do we all agree? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Difficult topic. No, it's not difficult. It's just, you know, you have to find logic to this. That's all. Okay, guys, it's time for you to speak. And in order to do that, we have to work together. So to find more sense to this, let's move to your book on page 10. You see, you have a category, uh, a different uh, sort of examples, very clear examples. For example, um, Amazon, sells, and this is wrong on your book, you need an S here, Amazon sells Kindles to its customers through its own platform. So what kind of channel will it be? Direct yeah. channel. Direct channel? Yeah. You need to know what is a Kindle. What is a Kindle? It's, it's like, like a tablet. tablet. It's a tablet to read books, right? Mm -hmm. Who produces the Kindle? Amazon. 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 Okay, so yes, that is a direct channel. So go on with your classmates. Define which channel is being used on each one of these examples. Okay. And then we will discuss with the class which channel is more effective? Is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? 
Can you combine channels? Hmm. Okay, this is on page 10, exercise six, and think about your answers on exercise seven, okay? I'll play you one more. Please have a conversation with your classmates. Let's go. Number one, um, we say that it's a direct, direct channel. Number two, IKEA buys products from different ma manufacturers and sell them in their stores. In their stores. Retail channel. Yes, we find manufacturers and sell. Number three. We some grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchase in bulk. In bulk. Mm. Also, grocer supplies a line in the oh, independent grocery store. For sure. I agree. Wholesale channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And can you read number four? That computers are fraud is our only platform of call setting. Call The only computers sells through its own online platform or call center. Call center. The direct channel. Direct channel. Yes, did it sell? Did it sell? Okay. Uh, the gap by the manufacturer to sell in the store. This is a weak table channel. And Caroline, can you read number six? Of course. Better grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with, with purchases in bulk. Better grocer. This is a wholesale. Teacher, what is the difference uh, uh, in this in this in this uh, segment? A wisdom grocer and better grocer um, are, are a different in this in these ideas. Like awesome grocers supplies, awesome grocers and independent grocery. And the number three and the number six. Okay. 
Awesome Grocers is a brand. And Better mm -hmm. Grocers uh, is a brand too. Yeah, it's okay. a name. It's the okay. name. I understand. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. the that same, the same idea, the same statement. Let's see. Awesome Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Better Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with, yeah, it's the same idea. Um, okay. It is the same. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay, number one is direct channel. Number two, wholesale channel. Number yes. three, wholesale channel two. Number two, I, I have a retail channel. <laughs> retail. It can buy products from different manufacturers and yeah. in the store. I have a dog. There is a Market in Santa Tecla. Um, its name. Uh, its name is La Nueva Milagro. So, which which type of channel it is? Retail or food sales? Nueva no, Milagro. No, a milagrosa o no, a milagrosa, milagrosa yes, yeah. <laughs> man that, that's so old that's very old Willy Maldonado used to make the commercials the ads right for Christmas oh my god wow long time ago okay yeah that's a good question I think there is a retail Are you done? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Okay. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay. Well, not too great, you know. It's just I'm having issues with the call center. They don't they don't want me to they don't want me to continue working from home. They want me to go back to the site. I don't want to go back there, you know, and get COVID or there's a lot of things involved. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. For example, the gap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in the store. They are in the produce more channel. This is correct. Uh, come again. I'm sorry. Uh, they in the gap. In the gap. In the number five. Uh huh. So we produce more channel. The Gap buys clothes from other manufacturers yeah, 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 yeah. to sell in their stores. Yeah. Okay. So they they become distributors. Yeah, the two. Yeah. Walls or the two. Yeah. They're part of the distribution channel. So that they are part of a retail channel for, for that producer for that producer, whoever they buy the, the, the clothes from, yeah, they become uh, actually uh, distributors of that other company. That makes sense. You're totally correct. Okay, let's go back then.
Okay, so let's continue. Let's see what are your answers, what are your responses for this exercise? What do you think about this exercise? So first example, and I, I don't want just to hear you saying, you know, oh, that's a direct channel. No, give me a, a more specific answer. You know, why do you think it's a direct channel or an indirect channel? or a retail channel, I'm sorry, or a wholesale channel. Now, one more thing, I'm sorry. Um, we have direct channel and these other two are indirect channels. I think you, you got that, right? I think you understood that, that, right? There's just one direct channel and then you have indirect channels. And among indirect channels, you can have a lot of indirect channels, but let's go with the, the ones we have. So. Amazon sells Kindles to its customers through its own platform. We said that's a direct channel, right? They produce, they sell on their own platform. IKEA, this is very famous in the States. IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Where is IKEA? What is Ikea? Ikea is like going to um, going to La Curacao, but you find you find everything already set up. You can actually try the you can try the you see like this. You can try a living room. You walk through the store you walk through the store and you go trying, you go trying the sets of the living room, the sets of a bedroom, and you can feel like if you were at your house, look like this, this is Ikea. That's the store. And it's a kitchen, you know, a room already pre-elaborated, everything is already uh, set up. They have the whole setups for you to try. Okay. okay, that's Ikea, that's Ikea. It's a nice idea, right? Yeah. So you can, you can feel like, oh my God, my house will look like this. <laughs> okay. okay, that's Ikea. So they buy products, they buy the furniture from different manufacturers and then they sell them to, uh, in their stores. Okay, it's a retail. <laughs> It's a retail store. Uh, yes, they doesn't produce uh, the product that they sell in the they sell in the stores. Definitely, so they're retailers. Okay, which category are they on? Are they part of the direct channel, retail channel, or a wholesale channel? They are part of the indirect channels, right? The retail channel or the wholesale, the wholesale channel. Do you think IKEA buys a whole lot of furniture at once? Okay. I think it's for retail. Yeah, it's part by part, right? Okay. Okay. Awesome grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. I think it's wholesale because uh, they purchase in bulk. Okay, who, who purchases in bulk? Awesome grocers. Uh -huh. uh -uh. Independent grocery stores. They buy in bulk the products from awesome grocers. Okay, awesome grocers supply, they supply a line of independent grocery stores. So they, for example, um, independent grocery stores. Okay, let's say you can see a, a, a truck, a truck that says awesome grocers. And they are all around the city supplying independent grocery stores. Got it? 
it's like la tiendita right they they buy in bulk give me give me 20 20 dozens 20 dozens uh, or 20 cartons egg cartons Tw give me 20 egg cartons give me i don't know 20 pounds of cheese you know awesome grocers delivers all of these products to these little stores these independent grocery stores okay no yes kind of okay. retailer so they are they're they're part of the wholesale channel mm -hmm. so the producer let's say awesome grocers goes to the producer they buy the product and then they become wholesalers or distributors and they distribute all of the products to independent grocery stores, which are retailer stores, and they sell the products to the final consumer. Next example, Dell Computer sells through its own online platform or call center. <laughs> direct reception. <laughs> That's a direct, a direct channel, yes. And it's true, Dell sells their own computers to their customers, their consumers. Uh, now, the next example is interesting. The Gap buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Retail channel. Retail. It's a retail channel, but what happens here? Gap mm -hmm. is, a, is a clothes brand. And they buy clothes from other manufacturers? Mm -hmm. Is, is that in a strategy? What kind of a strategy will that be? Yes, um, I don't know how to say in English, but it's um, maquila. Oh, do you think they manufacture, they outsource their manufacturing? Could be. Yeah. Definitely, but do you remember there was another topic on the previous module where you used to work with another company, even if it is a competent, a, the competent, their competitor, I'm sorry. Co-branding. Yes, that could be a co-branding strategy. Okay, and this example is the same one as Awesome Grocers. Awesome Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Okay, so a question for you, which channel is more effective? What is the most effective channel from your perspective? What have you understood? Is for it a good me, idea? It depends. it depends on the product. Because if they're massive product, it's easier for you to distribute it through wholesalers and retail stores. Depends on the product. Okay, but Coca Cola doesn't do that, and they're Coca Cola is massive. You need to, yeah. to get to people in a massive way. You need yeah. distributors. You need wholesalers. Well, they you have everything. Them. They have everything, right, Heidi? Yeah, right. They have their own distribution channels, but they also have wholesales. Man, it's they cover everything. And not not in vain, not in vain. I mean, did you watch the video on the previous model? Every day we consume over millions of liters of Coca-Cola in the whole world. It's, it's an addiction. It's a lot of Coca-Cola every day. It's amazing. Okay, it is a good idea to combine channels to get better results. I just gave you the answer to that question. <laughs> because Coca-Cola does that. I mean, they, they combine all the channels and they get better results. But is it easy? Is it easy to combine all the channels? No, why? It's not easy. A lot of money. Mm -hmm. A lot of big money. 
you need them to make money. Yes. Okay. And yeah. And that's it, basically. Do you have any questions? Yes, teacher. I'm trying to remember this term where, where um, a producer gives an inventory to a distributor, and then uh, if the distributor doesn't sell, the, that inventory gives it back to the producer. But I can't remember. I know, I know, I know. Uh, Information. Consign it's a consignation, but what's the word in, in English? We were talking about that before, right? Fernando found the word. Google. Consignation. Consigna consignation, but how do you, mm -hmm. is that the same in English? Yes. But consignation with, or consigna? With, with a T, right? A T. Consignation. Consign. Ah, consignation. Consignation. Consign or, consign or actually the in the middle. No, 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 no. Consignment. Consign. 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 It is, yes, it's consignation. Consignment. Consign. Consignment. Yep. In view. No, no, no. But it is it is consignment or dispatch, but dispatch. with a, with an E. Dispatch, dispatch, not dispatch. Consignment, yeah. Consignment is like more used. It's, that's the word. Is that the word you were looking for, Heidi? Yeah, it is. That's another, what would that be? That That is a, a tool, a tool, and it's part of the distribution channel, I think. Mm -hmm. If you don't distribute I, this. I've heard it from, from, from medicine producers, mm -hmm. labs. Yeah, if the, you don't sell this lot. They to drugstores, and if they don't sell it, they give it back to the. I think that's more applicable on perishable items, on perishable mm -hmm. items. Mm -hmm. And it totally makes sense, yes. How, how do you say, I, I knew how to say, um, but there is another word in Spanish. How do you call it when, when your churrito goes really hard? It hardens? Se tuye. That's the word we say in Spanish. <laughs> but there's going to be another word. How, how do you say that in Spanish? Tuye. Um, it hardens, right? Tayudo. Tayudo. <laughs> Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, it hardens when a chorito hardens or it gets hardened. That's the word. It becomes really hard. In that case, you don't have anybody to replace the product. Not even the señora la tienda will go like, "Oh my God, I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's find some terms. Let's play that. Find some terms related to this topic. Um, compensation. What is compensation? Come on. Change the product. To taste the product. Change. Oh, change. a change of product, that could be, okay. There are different kinds of compensations. Uh, when you receive a bad product or a faulty, a faulty product, okay? You can receive different kinds of compensations. Okay, then the, the first compensation is an exchange. Well, I'm sorry, look at this. There's a difference between change and exchange. Okay, change, you get the same product, and that's it. And exchange, you get a similar product. Similar in price or similar in quality. Good. So I bought a I bought a banana lollipop. I want a strawberry lollipop now. That's an exchange. Teacher, change and give the 
<laughs> yeah, that will be an option as well. An exchange, they give you another product and they give you a little refund, a small refund, because there's a difference in price. Okay. Okay. What other compensation have you ever received? Think. Let me give you an example. I bought pizza from Pizza Hut and I like the um, the full extras. I like the full extras pizza from Pizza Hut with a lot of um, mushrooms and a lot of cheese and ham. Ham, mushrooms, and a lot of cheese. That's the full extras. So I ordered that and they brought a different kind of pizza. It was actually this pizza, uh, that very famous cheap. Supreme. No, the cheap one, the cheap one, the $5 one or $10 one. I can't remember what's the name of it. But the thing is that I called him and the manager said, I'm so sorry. You know what? I will send you a new order and it's free. I was like, woo, right? Okay. <laughs> I was very happy that day. Okay. I didn't get a refund. I actually get double product. Okay. Is there any other kind of uh, compensation that you can think of? The refund could be a partial refund, a full refund, etc. Okay. Think about more terms that we could use in this context. We said with Haiti, perishables, perishable items, productos. What is perishable? Perecedero. Perecederos. Very good. Perishable items. And you could call them, and they can outdate, outdated or expired products okay what else defective there's a difference between faulty and defective what is it what is the difference between a faulty product and a defective product faulty that something is missing Something is missing or it doesn't work properly. It works, but it's faulty. It doesn't work completely. Like, let's say you buy a speaker. A speaker, and instead of sounding, having good sound, it sounds like a little toy, you know? I don't know. That's faulty. Now, defective is that it doesn't work. It doesn't turn on. It doesn't play any music. It doesn't do it doesn't do anything okay okay undeliverable undelivered an undelivered product okay come on guys help me more terms damaged damaged Dented. You know what's dented? Uh -uh. Dented. Let's say I bought this cup of coffee. Okay. And there's a little dent on it. There's a little hole. Not a hole, but a little dent, you know, a little scratch that is very clear. So it, the, the, Cop is faulty, is dented, is dented. Okay. Or it is choppy. How about deteriorado? Or would you say it's deteriorated? Deteriorated. Deteriorated. You're you're getting me difficult words lately. Thank you. Returnable. <laughs> Returnable. 
Choppy. Choppy. Cheerily. Or easier, and I told you this yesterday. I'm sorry, Haiti. Spoiled. Spoiled. Now, this word is funny, spoiled. Because you can use yeah. it with you can use it with your mom or with your couple or with your suegra as well. Okay. Uh -huh. You can tell that, yeah, for example, my suegra, my mother-in-law, yeah. uh, she's spoiling me. My mother-in-law is spoiling me because she gives me too much food, you know. Her food is too delicious. So she's spoiling me. Me está arruinando. She's spoiling me. And you can tell someone, hey, you're spoiling me. Stop it. Right? Stop giving me chocolates, for example. No more chocolates. No, thank you. You're spoiling me. That's funny. Uh-huh. Now, what happens if you receive a worn, a worn item? Have, have you noticed how they put the TVs on racks? They put the TVs on racks at the retail stores. Refurbished. Uh, they're kind of refurbished, but they are the ones that are in exhibition. Mm. Open books. They're in exhibition, open books, okay. Uh, so that, that could be an example. Oh, and sometimes you can find scratches scratches on the screen, right? Okay. Oh, another word for this context, shelf. <coughs> you know what is a shelf? Yeah, no? What is a shelf? The stunting. <laughs> ah, come on, Google. Yeah. What's the plural? Shelves. Shelves. Every word that ends with F, you replace it with V E S, right? Shelves. Okay. I'm just trying to give you some options for you to come up with more vocabulary. Can you think of other words to use in this context? Did you understand the word drawback? What's yeah, the synonym? Teacher. What is the synonym for drawback? If it is the opposite of advantage, is the opposite of advantage drawback is? Come on, disadvantage. Disadvantage, advantage, disadvantage, drawback. Mm -hmm. That's the meaning. Okay. Returnal. Okay, and this topic is on your on your platform as well. I think it's part of your tests to talk about these um, topics. Okay, just to finish, I'm just gonna split you so you can talk about the three options that we have talked about for direct, indirect channels on this class. We only have six minutes for this activity. Make sure you participate. Just make a recap to your classmates of what you understood, okay? Okay, do you want to use Spanish? It's up to you, but make sure you understood the topic, okay? Just talk to your classmate about the topics that we covered in today's lesson. Let's go.
aunque tengan que hablar en español, quiero asegurarme que ustedes han entendido los temas. Si tenés alguna duda, ahorita evacuala con tus compañeros. Es like, uy, amén, estoy perdido. ¿Qué es esto? Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Franchise es la franquicia. Franchise, ¿es el pronunciado? Franchise. Yeah, franchise. And who manages a franchise? Yeah. Who because... manages? Who manages a franchise? How do you say franquiciado in English? Yes. But franchise is a franquicia. Yeah. Oh, fra yeah, fran franchise. Okay. Because franchise? This, this is, is, uh, this is, this is, franchise. Fra uh, these are the, there are different franchises. Franchises. Mm -hmm. Yes, franchises. For example, the distribution is a one franchise. Coca-Cola is a industry franchise. Yeah. Franchise industry? Yes. Hmm. Franchise industrial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you mean to yeah. say, uh, you mean industry or commerce franchise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Totally. Okay. Go ahead. Talk to your classmates. What did you understand? What point is not clear? And you have the, the low cost because you have to, if you can say the only say franchise, franchise, only that this is the, this is the, the meaning. Distribution franchise. Yeah. Teacher? What happened with the franchise? Franchise is like the franquicia. Yes. Okay. Like a, uh, like a, uh, like a, uh, everything that you can buy here, you can eat here is a franchise. But I don't know what do you think. You can explain one more time. <laughs> That's why that you understand. Oh, I was talking about Incoterm, uh, teacher, because we have uh, the producer of responsibilities. Uh, the customer has another disability. In Incoterm, if uh, the producer choose what responsibility they want to uh, have and the customer, but is money for one way or for another way. In Incoterms? Yeah, because we have insurance, we have transportation, and another fee involved. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's true. That's part of the distribution channels. It's part of the contractual terms of of distribution. Yeah, yeah. it's a very interesting topic. I think I will include it on in the class. That's that will be a good idea. Okay. Talking about input terms. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going, keep going. What, what do you think? Need to get used to. Teacher, we are ready to go to bed. <laughs> I know, I'm tired too. Hey, do you remember the Inco terms? Inco terms? Mm hmm. <laughs> no, I don't remember. No. <laughs> Do you remember? None of you? Okay. 
we, we I think I will include that on the on the class because that's very important. Um, it's just the terms that are involved. It's the contractual terms of transportation. So when you hire transportation services, if it is by sea or by land, by 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 ground transportation or air freight, you need to agree to that. To that, you know, if if they say, for example, uh, freight on board, let me see, free free on board, it means that you will go and pick up your products at the port. For example, if you bought something and you have to go to the ship and grab your items from the ship, mm -hmm. freight on, uh, there's free alongside, alongside the ship, which means you have to go there and they will move the products down the ship and they will put it on your truck. Then you go mm -hmm. and so on. There, there, there are many actually, but it's just general culture mm -hmm. okay it's very useful actually i guess you're not involved on, on that right haiti when when you no. receive when you receive the product who produces the plastics for you um i i i have just read the name of the of the of the distributor but i can't remember it's not from i from mean but it's, it's not that you make it right no, we you, don't. You we buy, buy it. it. And mm -hmm. you just you just have the machine to to record the information exactly. on the card. Exactly. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I know. It's the same machine that produces badges for companies. I think. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Oh my god. There's a lot of technology involved nowadays. Okay. Let's go back then. We're all sleepy. Yeah. Okie dokie. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for staying with me for so long. I mean, on this class is our second day. I know you're tired. The job is really heavy right now. So let's consider that for the next couple of classes. I'm just going to do the attendance one more time. And I'm staying with Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo tonight. Okay, just 10 minutes, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. You can disconnect if you want. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Mm -hmm. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. I'm not seeing you guys. Come on. Present. <laughs> okay. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good night. Good night. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Good night, everybody. Good night. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. José Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Good night. Good night, Jerry Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night, Luis Ernesto night. Romero Argueta. Present, good night. Good night, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present, good night. Good night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Hey. Hey, teacher. Sorry. I had a problem with my electric car. Computer, I am here. Don't worry. I I, okay. I took your attendance. Thank you, Erwin. See you tomorrow. You. Bye. Wendy, wake up and get disconnected. Alexander, wake up. 
Okay. Bye, guys. I can't. I can't. Come on. <laughs> hey, I want to see that camera on tomorrow. Um, I have. Bueno, tengo una pregunta, por eso es que me mandaron un mensaje que tenía que ser como oyente, por eso no le he colocado de hecho. Anyways, tomorrow. Ok, ok, good night. Pero no, no me da la opción, lo siento, me sale. Ah, ok, ok, take care. Ya no encontré. Hey, what's up, Andrés, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Awesome. I'm doing great too, but let's talk about you. How's your town doing? Any updates? Uh, sir? Any updates in your town? Um, not, not too much. Uh, there are a, they are a new administration. Okay, so but you were part of the administrative part. I mean, like even though there's a new major, uh -huh. there's a new major, uh, you, you were with the previous major too. Yes. I, how, how long have I, you been working then? 18, 18 years. 18 yes. years, how old uh -huh. are you? I, I, the same age like you, maybe four years <laughs> less. Uh -huh. I'm really? 70. 36, uh -huh. 30, 36, 30, 36, 30, 36. 36. Mm -hmm. wow, man, mm -hmm. yeah, we, that's good, well, being happy all the time works, you know, trying to be positive all the time, that, that works a lot, okay, how's the weather in your town hall, in your uh, town? Uh, these days, it's very cold, it's very cold, right? Yes, but Normally in the December or November and January, mm -hmm. it's very cold. But yeah. then maybe February. Many, yeah, but it's very hot. Very hot. Yeah, it very gets hot. really hot. Okay. What mm -hmm. do you do? What do you do during this season? I mean, is there something like very special to do? Mm -hmm. Not too much. Maybe in hot days, I, I go to a hammock in a, what do you say, terraza? Oh, to the terrace. Terrace. Uh, to the terrace house. in your house. Okay. Because it's, uh, it's very fresh. But is, the there, is there like a special touristic place to go? Mm, yeah, we have a Lempa River. Mm. Uh -huh. And many people come to this river in the weekends. To fish? Uh, not too much, but to get a, a bath. Oh. Uh -huh. And to prepare some food, maybe. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have, and... how do you call this? Hold on. Do you have... Before I got the word hatchery, you have nursery, uh, fish nurseries. Fish nursery, can you Fish hatchery or fish, a fish pond. <laughs> Criadero uh, de peces. <laughs> ah, uh, Tilapia. Uh -huh, yes, uh, there is there's a place they, they have uh, that kind of fish. Uh -huh. Really? Yes. It's so easy, right, to 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 nursery uh, to nurse uh, this fish. Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure, but the, or it's common. The, it's common in El Salvador, right? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They uh, said you can put it in a pile. You can put it in a pile, and it will eat all of the cabezones, you know, with mm -hmm. the mosquitoes. Oh yes. If you put them on the pile, mm -hmm. it, it's very important. Okay, yes. so what have you been doing to improve your English? Uh, the, the same, uh, like I said the last time we was talking. Mm -hmm. We were? Uh, we were talking, sorry. I have problems with that. It's okay, don't worry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, just uh, listening podcasts. Podcasts. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
You know um, what I will do? What I will do if I were you working at mm -hmm. the town hall? What's the name of the of the city? Citala. Citala. Okay. Living in Citala, I work at the town hall. I will learn English very well to what you're doing. Um, and I will make a map. I guess you have a map of Citala, right? Mm -hmm. So mark the most touristic places, work with the town hall to create more tourism, you know, and have you as a tour guide, you know, from time to time. Okay, we have visitors from the United States. Let's take them on a tour. Okay, that's a, that's that's a good great. idea. Uh, but mi tour, mi tour does something there? Uh, there, there was an, an office, but I'm not sure it always is working in La Palma. If it is still but working, still are working you close there. to La Palma? Uh, yes, uh, we are 10 minutes. What? By car. By car. Uh -huh. Wow. Four by four. Mm -hmm. uh, what? What's that? Four by four. <laughs> traction. Four uh, by no, four no. traction. No? No, no, you can use uh, say that, say that. Uh -huh. I, I have been to La Palma twice in my life. Long time ago. I was a kid oh. still. I'm well, I'm I should go again. I'm planning to go. It's just that mm -hmm. a friend has a, a piece of land in La Palma. Mm -hmm. Is with it involves a river, you know, mm -hmm. and he is the one that gave me gave me my dog, my husky. So he was uh, hatching. He was uh, hatching this this type of dogs. He was hatching hoskies, and now he has like ten. He says he mm -hmm. has like ten hoskies in La Palma. Mm -hmm. He he took them to La Palma because of the cold weather, you know, and how they can play around in the in the land. He said uh -huh. he says they're happy. They're very happy. You can come because the the road is very good. Oh, the road uh, is better. They improve yes, it. Yes, yes. Uh, they almost finish. Uh, uh, stuck here. Boy. Wow. Mm -hmm. And they just did that recently, or some time ago? Uh, this year, because uh, this week mm -hmm. they are working near from my town. Oh. They almost finish. Yes. I'll Google it. Mm -hmm. oh, most likely I will go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> nice yeah. having you. Thank you very much, Andres. Please keep practicing. You're, you're improving. And that's really good. Okay. Continue Thanks, practicing and participating on the class. That's very important. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I'll teacher. see you. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.